The Alumni Memorial Fieldhouse is located on the south campus of Lake Forest College. It is home to both Forrester hockey teams and other local teams. The Fieldhouse was completed in December of 1950 and has been hosting Forrester home sporting events ever since. In 1968, the hockey team stopped playing its games outdoors and the school finally laid down the layer of ice in the Fieldhouse. Over 50 years later, Forrester teams are still playing their hockey home games in one of Illinois' only collegiate hockey rinks. But we aren't here to talk about the hockey team. We are here to talk about the hockey rink and all the hard-working people who keep the ice frozen and the building running. What's your job over here at the ice rink? Uh, it entails a lot of things, but basically whatever I'm told, get it done. I'm a security at the games. I keep the fans, the coaches, and the players safe at all times. You seem to be quite a man with a shovel in your hand. It is a very difficult duty to balance on the ice while also shoveling, so it's an honor. I also cut the ice, and it's, I think it's all about confidence and accuracy and precision. When the cut is not done right, the players can't play well, you know? So I put that whole burden on my back to make sure practices and games, as well as any other type of activity that goes on here at the rink. I was just out there cutting ice with you. How would you say that last cut went? That was probably the greatest cut I've ever had in my entire life. And it's all kind of worked up to this moment. I've put the work in. I've done, I've done the practice that is needed. I'm here early in the morning. I worked at 5.30, worked my butt off, and I'm also here late at night. And you can ask Blake Becker, he can attest to this. I have put the hours in and, and it's showing on the ice. It's some hard work what you guys do on and off the ice. Do you feel that uh, you are truly appreciated by the Forrester hockey team and the Forrester fans that come here every weekend? You know, I could really do with the raise to show some appreciation, but... Uh... <laughs> But yes, I do feel appreciated. I feel like everyone enjoys their time here and is respectful of the facilities. Who do you take your orders from, Trent? I take my orders from the boss man, Bruja. Uh, I am the ice rink director. Uh, it falls into my umbrella of athletic facilities director, uh, where I run the sports center, the ice rink, palace, farewell, softball, tennis, pool, you know, a few things. I've heard that Bruja's the man in charge. Anything you'd like to say to boss man? I love you. I like to think that during the game I don't have much to do, uh, which is kind of the role of the uh, on-site administrator, which is what I become as soon as uh, the opening gate happens. Um, and the on-site administrator becomes the point of contact for any visiting team, officials, home team, anything that needs to be done for the game is ultimately my responsibility. Do you enjoy your job? I love it. And everything about hockey and cutting ice and you know changing the gas tanks and laying the law down is in thirty games is all about it's all in the day's work and I, I love every minute of it. I talked to Trent and Blake like I had said earlier. Anything you'd like to say to them? We couldn't do it without them. Um, they are invaluable to what we do. Um, hopefully, it gives them a lot of warranted experience, whether they were assigned to me or they sought me out. And once we get them into the role and get them driving the Zamboni and running the ice rink, that they actually fall in love with it and are, are more than capable. But they are actually invaluable, and I appreciate all of their hard work, and I hopefully, hopefully they know that. The Foresters play their home games on the weekends in the fall and the winter. But maintaining the ice is a year-round job. The hard work they put in won't be found on a plaque in the trophy case. But maybe it can be found somewhere under the ice.